Well, you know, like a lot of kids these days, um, I'm, my uh, parents are split up, and uh, back when I was around seven years old was when it first happened. I had to uh, move from the Bay Area, where I lived my entire life up to that point, over to a place called Sonora, which is like two and a half hours away from here, um, an hour out of Yosemite National Park, pretty much. And, and of course, it's going to be hard for everyone. Uh, I, I can't imagine that my story is very unique, but... But really, when you're that young, it, it's it's really hard to adapt, especially when you really kind of don't know what's going on for sure. You know, you go to a brand new school where you don't know anyone, and they all seem like they're staring at you, <laughs> talking about you behind your back, instead of just going up and actually talking to you. And of course, you know, it sucks for the first bit of time. I, I did my share of moping. <laughs> But, you know, like, one day I'm walking to lunch, and I hear these guys talking about this video game that I really like. And, just sort of rudely, I guess my brain just decided to shut off for that moment, but I, I uh, pretty much busted into the middle of their conversation and, and kind of forced myself to talk to them about it. Of course, you have that first breakthrough, and it feels really, really nice. Of course, you know, it's also the bad luck of, um... Not exactly having the cool kids on the vlog as your friends. And that... Kids in middle school are, can be really mean. And a lot of them, you know, have known each other their entire lives. Uh, and I'm like this new kid. So you never really know when they're being nice to you, if they're really being genuinely nice or not. Or if they're just kind of subtly making fun of you. And really, like, the lack of confidence that, that you get from that, you never, it, it sticks with you for a long time. You never really feel like you truly get over it. You just kind of learn to work with it. You kind of learn to bring out the best in yourself, despite it. And, you know, naturally, I, of course, sometimes wonder what kind of person I would be if I, uh, I never had to move there, if I never had to kind of change the course of my growing up. Would I still have had those problems? And maybe I would be exactly the kind of person I am now. You never know. Or maybe I'd be stronger, maybe I'd be better uh, at an earlier point. You know, your imagination just kind of fills in those blanks, even when they really don't exist. <laughs> but the important thing is that if you really do want to grow, you have to take it just a little bit step at a time. It takes a lot of self-reflection and actually learning from your mistakes, figuring out what you did wrong and how to overcome it. But I think I've done a pretty darn good job of that. <laughs> Even though I was just this random kid that showed up in the mountains one time, not knowing anyone, I, I'm pretty proud of the kind of guy I've become, so... I guess in the end, it was worth it.